Okay, this video is going to be talking about the filleting tool in Inventor, which is what we use to curve and round off edges. Now, filleting an edge can be really, really useful. Um, it can be used for improving a product's functionality. It can be used for improving a model's aesthetics, so how it looks. And it can be used for improving a product's safety. So there's lots of reasons why we might use a fillet. Now, the icon and the command for fillet is up here. As with lots of things in Inventor, it's quite useful because the icon looks like the command that you are wanting to perform. In this case, you can see the little rounded edge. The filleting command is in the modify tab, and that's because this is an editing tool. It's for when you've already got a shape or a form and you're wanting to round off the edge. It's an edit. Um, so if I click the fillet tool just now, and the way I use it is by clicking on different edges. Um, now my default setting here is two, so I'm going to put a fillet of two millimeters on, but I can change that. I can give it a fillet of six, and that gives us a bit of a bigger edge. I can even do a fillet of something like 20. So you can produce some quite cool effects using the fillet. If I tried something as big as like 40, I get this error message pop up, this little warning triangle. And what that's telling me is that fillet that I'm trying to create is too big for the model that I've got. So if you get that little warning triangle, you're trying to produce a, a fillet that is just too big and you're not going to be able to do it. So I'm going to change this back to three. OK, now I don't just need to do one fillet at a time. In fact, I want to try and do as many in one shot as I can because it reduces the stress on the computer. Um, so if I click multiple edges, I can put a fillet on all of those edge, all of the same size. When you're happy, you can click the tick and that's going to start up, make our fillet. Um, the other thing that we can do with fillet, because I've got these options in the dialog box, so I had edge selected before, but I've also got the option of loop. And with loop, if I hover over a face, so that it lights up, there we go, I can do all four edges of that face at the same time without clicking them individually. So loop can be a very, very useful trick if you're needing to fillet a lot of edges at once. Now fillets aren't just used for um, outside curves they can also be used for inside curves. So this edge along here, if I click it, I'll get a nice inter internal curve, um, which can be quite a nice thing to add into your models to make them look more finished and more refined. Now, if we look down at the model tree, I've got my three different fillets because I made three different fillets. The one on the top, the one that I made with the loop and the internal one. If I decide at any point that actually I'm not happy with one of those fillets and I want to change it, I can do it just like every other thing. I need to double click and then I can go in and I can change the size of the fillet. So say I wanted to change this to 3.5. I could do that. If I can click OK. So there you go. So filleting is a really good way of finishing off your models um, and adding a little bit of extra complexity to some of your designs.